When creating an animation that features two opponents or two logos from opposing teams, we generally want to have them enter the frame at the same time but from opposite sides in order to give equal importance to both elements. To make it easier to create this type of animation, Autograph places the origin of its coordinate system, 0, 0, at the center of the composition format. This lets you animate one of the elements on one side of the composition and mirror that animation for the other element on the opposite side. Let's start by disabling clipping, which lets you see what's happening outside of the composition, and we can bring out the first element before creating the first keyframe. We'll do this at the beginning of the animation, then we'll move one and a half seconds ahead before creating a second keyframe. If we navigate to the graph editor and select these animation keyframes, we can use the elastic interpolation mode which creates a more dynamic animation. So we've animated the first opponent who enters from the left side of the composition, and we can reactivate clipping to visualize the result of this initial animation. By selecting these two layers and pressing the P key on the keyboard, we can filter the parameters and just display the position parameter. Now we can create a link between the position of the animated layer and the position of the layer that hasn't been animated yet. By setting the opacity of the upper layer to 0.5, we can see that both layers undergo the same animation based on the keyframes we've just added. After linking these parameters, which inserts the animation into the position parameter of the second layer, we can add a math modifier and set it to multiply mode. Since this modifier applies to a 2D parameter, we have a value for x and another for y. To mirror the animation horizontally, we can just multiply the x value by negative 1. The x value has an initial value of approximately 600 and now becomes approximately negative 600. The animation is now perfectly mirrored and controlled by just two keyframes. Let's finish this animation by enabling a motion blur onto one of the two layers. We can set the motion blur quality to 0.25 and then copy this value and paste it onto the other layer to achieve a motion blur on both sides.